Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android and I uh, have the HTC One here with the uh, Android 4.2.2 update, still part of Sense 5. Figured I'd do a quick uh, walkthrough on some of the changes. Now I know a lot of you, especially in the US, are never going to see Android 4.2.2. It's going to go right to 4.3 as they announced. But you may be installing some ROMs um, that are based on 4.2.2. And also, this is the Verizon version. So if you look at our older video um, on Sense5, uh, there are some differences here. So I figured I'd go through them as well. So the Verizon uh, version of the HTC One uh, will be the only version uh, in the U.S. that has 4.2.2, at least officially. So, um, actually, BlinkFeed is uh, the first thing on the page here, so let's just quickly look at that. There, one of the additions is Instagram is now can now be part of your BlinkFeed, um, and also in the uh, with Android 4.1, if you wanted to go to the top, you hit the notification bar, and that would bring you to the top. But you can also now, uh, just scroll down a little bit, you can hit the uh, back key, and it will bring you up. That is new. Um, now, also, the home key, there are some differences as well. Uh, before I get into that, let's look at the settings, uh, how to get to settings, and the quick uh, toggle settings that they have here. Um, if you swipe down and you hit that bar right there, that square, uh, you now get the quick settings toggle, which is pretty cool. Um, it's similar to a stock Android, except a lot of them are just actual toggles rather than taking you to other menus. You can change your brightness levels, and you can also go into your main settings, and you can turn on Wi-Fi, toggle on off Bluetooth, and such. You can also get, get to this quicker by doing a two-finger swipe down, similar to stock Android, and then there you are right uh, at it. So that skips a step. And then you hit settings right here and you can go right in the settings. Now scroll down and you go to display gestures and buttons. And uh, this is where you can change things with the home button here. Um, the home button can be set up as either, and this is the default, where you would swipe up like you would on normal stock Android to get to Google Now or hold down for Google Now. Um, but you can also now change it to swipe up. Uh, you'd still get the swipe up, but the long press would be um, a menu key, a dedicated menu key. So if you're in an app where the three dot menu doesn't exist, or actually I think if you do use it, the three dot menu won't be there and you'll always have the menu down here and it will always be fixed. Kind of like Samsung devices uh, have the menu key. So you can opt for that as well. So I'm gonna leave it on that and just to quickly show you. So I can long press down right now and I go to Google now, or I can swipe up. It didn't have the swipe up in 4.1. Uh, at least I don't believe it did, I'm trying to remember. Um, another thing you get is the lock screen widgets uh, with this update, however it's a little different. You can only get one widget. So what you would do is uh, go into um, personalize and you would uh, check your um, lock screen style and uh, wallpaper is the current one and the default. But what you would do is you would go into widget and then um, you can uh, choose one. You can hit settings and choose a widget that you want. I'll go with Google Now. And when you go ahead and apply it, it'll now be uh, part of the lock screen. You only can do one widget. And uh, there it is. So that's uh, pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, another uh, interesting change is this is a small one, but actually pretty cool. It, we're all used to having our little uh, battery gauge up here in the top right. Uh, if it's full, like it is pretty much right now, you don't get a percentage, but you get a good idea. Is it half full or whatever? Half empty, half full. <laughs> so um, they have a, a new um, option. We go in the settings again. I always forget to do the two finger, so I end up pressing the extra. Um, and uh, go into um, power. And uh, right now I have 96% battery, it's pretty full. But you can go right here and it says show battery level. Just check that box and bingo, there is the battery level that will be there on your status bar all the time. So uh, it'll change as the percentage. So at each, you know, it's not even rounded at like 95 or 90. It'll be at every percentage. So uh, that's pretty slick. If you don't want it, uncheck it and you're good to go there. Um, also, going back to the home key just quickly, you can still double tap um, 
if I could do it right, double tap to get into your latest uh, apps that you've run. That's uh, nothing new there. That's the, that's, that's the same. All right, next up is Daydream. And actually, I can go quickly into settings um, this way here because uh, I was just in that. Go into Daydream, and that's going to be in the display gestures area. Daydream is part of, I think it was introduced, yeah, in Android 4.2. Um, and the default is off, but you want to turn that on. And this is basically a, um, a, a setup like, like if you dock your phone or charging it, um, it'll run a certain application like, say, a picture gallery. Right now, they only have colors, which surprises me. Now, there are apps in the Play Store that you can get that are compatible with Daydream, and if you download them, they'll show up here as well. I'm surprised HTC didn't include a pictures uh a slideshow type setup where you could choose that so if you put your phone in the dock it'll play actually you can start now I can show you what it looks like this is the simple colors thing so that's what it would show if it's in your dock now you can also set it up by going into the three dot menu here and uh, when to daydream and default is well docked but you can also choose well charging or either which would actually be both so um, that's that's pretty much uh, that as far as daydream goes so that's a new addition as well and you can toggle it off um, next thing up is the dock icons is a little bit different setup um, let me just switch over to another home screen here um, before, in order to put items in the dock, you had to do it from the app launcher. It was a very strange setup. So actually, the dock was part of the app launcher. So if you, you would actually move it down in, and it would actually leave the app launcher and be here. So it, it kind of really screwy. So um, in order to get something into the dock, you can quick now you can actually slide it right in there. Uh, you can slide it into empty spot or somewhere where there is a place, and you'll get a oops, and you'll get a folder. You just drop it right in there, and then you got uh, you, you'll have folders as well, and you can take them out just as easily. Um, same thing here. I can long press here and take out that, and um, and it's empty, or and you know put it right back. So it works a lot easier now. In the um, app drawer, if you want to put an icon on the main screen, it's still not like it should be. By long pressing, you don't just go right to your home screen to place it. You actually have to go up to shortcut first, then place it where you want. You can actually go right down to the dock as well if you want. Um, but I'll just go ahead and place that right there. So um, that's how it was in Android 4.1. It's still the same. So anyways, the... the um, the dock bar is much improved there. Now, probably the biggest improvement is going to be involved with the Zoe and uh, video highlights. Now, um, here is uh, you know the camera interface here, and um, I have nothing. Um, well, just to make it better, let me put a light bulb here. <laughs> so at least I'm, we're looking at something. Um, now you have everything is a lot of stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, however. Um, what you get is uh, Zoe's, as you know, are three second videos and 20 shots. Now, the way it was before is that all 20 shots were saved in her device, although you didn't easily see them unless you went into a file explorer. But they were all uploaded into, um, if you have auto upload to Google Plus or Dropbox, they would all be uploaded, all 20 images in each three second video, which a lot of people complained about. Now, what is going to happen is it's only going to save the first image out of the 20 and the three second video, and auto uploads would only get those. Saves on your battery and saves on storage on your uploaded on your cloud service. However, if you want to do auto awesome, you won't be able to do it. You'll actually have to go in to each individual Zoe and actually go in and save each one, uh, which is going to be a pain. Now, if you think you're going to do an auto awesome, you can still use burst shooting, which isn't a Zoe, it's just a bunch of burst shots. Those obviously will be saved because those are actual uh, shots of the used by the camera. So there is no option to change that. It's just how it is. It's going to be one Zoe. I'm sorry, one image of the Zoe saved and the video, and that's it. Now, another thing that you can do is you can auto uh, lock the auto exposure and auto focus. You know, you have focus here by tapping on the screen. If you long press you'll get that and there it is it's locked auto exposure auto focus locked so that is another feature now probably the biggest thing and we'll just actually go to the gallery for this um, 
the gallery, get that light bulb out of the way, um, as you know, let me just go back for a second. Uh, you have your events, and um, I just choose this a day at the park. And with that, you have your video highlight is already always created. That's nothing as different there. So let me just go into this video highlight. And right now, this particular one is called um, C View. And uh, let me just pause it there. Um, C view is actually they have the original six versions uh, that you could effects that you could use. However, um, one the C view is a new name, but it's the same effect. It's actually Polaris. I don't know why they renamed it, but it's now called C view. And uh, Avalon, Vega, Eiffel, Burbia, and Islandia all from the original. But you get whoops. And now instead of a menu that lifts up here, you get them all across the bottom, which gives you a little bit different a look of the effect. You have six new ones. So you have seven new names, but six actual new effects. Atlantis, Hammerville, Gotham, which is pretty deep. I'm not even sure what kind of pictures will work with that. It's pretty interesting. Boulevard, Boardwalk, and Lilyton. So give those a shot. That's It's pretty cool now. There's 12 in all, six new ones, and that's pretty cool. Um... And also, the other thing that you can do, which is also very interesting, is the select content was always there as part of the video highlights where you could go in and, and check off uh, which of the particular pictures or Zoe's you want to use as part of the video highlight. This is by checking right here. That was always there, but it didn't work. It was a bug. I actually did a, um, a video on, on um, another guide on basically making longer Zoe's and with music. And I went through this process by, uh, or, you know, how to make longer um, 60 second Zoe's. And by doing it, you had to actually create two separate events in order to do what you want to do. But now you can actually do select the videos that you want and it actually does work. Um, still not certain on what the um, star feature does on some of these uh, Zoe's uh, like for example if you go into um, and just go in here and just select this particular one right here um, you see highlight I'm still not certain what that is if that even works or not or it just emphasizes it more in the video in the video highlights it didn't really seem to do anything before there might be a change there there was no mention of it um, but that that's pretty much the biggest uh, change I would say um, with sense 5 Android 4.2.2 is the Zoe and video highlights the last thing I'm not gonna be able to show you because I don't have watch uh, the uh, HC the sense TV set up I almost called it watch on from Samsung um, I guess there's a change log here that says channels can be changed manually. I'm not even sure what that is um, exactly. Um, I guess, you know, uh, you know, maybe you can flick up and down on the channels, which I, I guess you couldn't do that before. Um, but I can't really show you that right now. Uh, and that would be the only other thing. And pretty much I think that's that covers it all. It's, it's a minor update, but some pretty cool stuff. I would say the uh, quick, um, quick toggle settings is very cool. Uh, the battery indicator is also cool. The dock is is much better now um, that you can control that. And of course, Zoe and video highlights. Six new highlights. The other six were starting to get old. Uh, so you now have 12 total. And uh, of course, Daydream's in there as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it's Android 4.2.2. This is on the Verizon HTC One, but of course it's available globally. Um, a lot of you have already gotten it, and of course a lot of you might be downloading it in ROMs and stuff, so hopefully this gives you a good idea of the changes that are on Android 4.2.2. We'll look to 4.3 and hopefully get another set of cool changes from HTC, but for now, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.